Hi, Scrant. I'm here for Mustang doing some tips and tricks. Something that we all need to know, how to change our hammer handle and set it back up. So, before we take our head, the handle off our head, we should have marked the head so we know which way we're gonna put the new hammer handle in because the exit part of the eye is a little bit bigger. So when we drive our wedges in, it'll make the hole tight. I like to put some glue into the eye of my hammer. On the entry side, I put the handle in. I'll snug it in just to get it to stick a little bit. Then I'll put it in through the air. We don't tend to get as much damage to the end of the handle. We just push the handle into the head. So now we've got a piece of excess. We need to cut that to size. So hopefully. We got it tight. Now I use a, a ring to put into the end. And again, I'll give it one or two taps to get it started. Then I put it in holding it in my hand. I'll turn it as I'm doing, trying to get it to go in straight. Once I've got the head on tight, I'll take the, my shoeing rasp, and I'll take the handle down to fit my hand. Okay, that's good. Put it in the hardy hole and, and take off the corners. I do it carefully. My preference is to make the handle the same all the way along. Some people like them a little bit bigger at the end. That's just personal preference. I find I use the whole hammer handle, and so my hand is the same size wherever I'm holding it. Once I've got it the size, I like to put on a wrap. I found I don't have to grip it as tight if I use a wrap. And I don't make the handle smooth right now, I just leave the handle rough because these tend to stick better if it's a little bit rough. And I always start wrapping it from the end. And I make sure I wrap it properly with the correct amount of overlap. And we can see there's a little ridge on the end of the on the edge of the tape that we use for overlapping. So we can see there we got a nice flat overlap and we've got the next one for it to fit into. That way we don't end up with blisters. I take my time wrapping it and for me once I've got a grip on there my hammer gets a little bit sweaty. I don't have to grip very tight to hold it. I find that if I grip tight I lose my accuracy and I certainly get tired. So I'll keep going down with my overlaps, pulling it tight, and there's a sticky handle anyway, so the rough surface helps it. Once I get to the end, now I'll normally take some tape, just tape it up, it comes with a little bit of tape, but normally I'll use some electrical tape on top. There's my hammer handle, ready to go.